In this video, I'm going to go through the song, He Paid a Debt. And like all the songs that I choose, this one's really pretty. It says something that's really important. And I really think that if I were you, I would spend some time with the lyrics of the song, trying to understand what they say and what they mean to you. This way you can be the one to describe in sign language that which you feel. Signing is not just interpreting the, the words themselves. It is an interpretation of the feelings that go with it. When I interpret on Sunday mornings, I'm really more just sharing my worship than I am interpreting. And that's kind of the attitude that maybe you need to adopt as you're practicing with this little song. Okay? So here we're going to go through the vocabulary. Not going to be much of a song, but it, it, it will be vocabulary. And you need to get through this part before you can go on to the next part where I do kind of sing the song very, very slowly. Now, some key points in, in getting started with this. When you're learning your vocabulary, if you will learn it in phrases as opposed to individual words, because we speak in phrases, we do not speak in individual words. We speak and our language runs together. Our signs do the same thing. If you want to have your signs be fluid, uh, feeling like conversation and not like doom, 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 then I encourage you to think of these things as phrases that need to be signed as opposed to individual words. Now, of course, I'm going to have to show you individual words as we go through this. Uh, but I will put it all together in phrases. Okay, so here we go. He paid a debt he did not owe. Okay, this is the sign for debt. Okay, we're going to see this sign a lot. It's a debt and owe. This song has got it all the way through it. So it, I'm just going to point it out first, even though it's not the first word. Debt. Okay, you just kind of point, you owe me, man, you know, kind of thing. Here we go. He, in sign language, a finger, pointed at something is a pronoun. Okay, think about that for a second. You, me. He, she, it. And if he is sitting over there, I point there. If he is God, where is he? He's, we're going to, I know he's everywhere, all right? And there's no way to point everywhere. So we're going to put him kind of up here, all right? He, paid. It's the letter P, okay? And if you don't know your letters yet, go back and see the, the, the alphabet part. P, and it's in the palm of your hand, and paid, okay, paid. He paid a debt. Now, little words like a and an and the, all of those words, pff, leave them out. The deaf don't use them. We use them in English to kind of be glue words to connect things together. In sign language, you don't need those glue words. So he paid a debt. He did not owe, okay? Did not. Now, we can do that as did not, but I'm just going to say not owed, okay? That's the way the deaf would sign that. So he paid a debt he did not owe, okay? I'm doing it sideways so you can see that the, the not comes from underneath the chin, not up here. This is the word for am, and this is the word for not, and they get confused quite frequently. And unfortunately, they're close enough in signs and opposites in meanings, okay? So it's from underneath the chin, not, o. I, again that pronoun, I and me, same sign, owed a debt. See, I, we're using that over and over again. I couldn't pay. Couldn't. Can't. You just kind of have your finger out there and your right, left hand, finger out, right hand just kind of uh, knocks the fingernail, okay? Couldn't 
pay. Same word as what we use in the first, first phrase. I needed someone to wash my sins away. I, again, pronoun, needed. It's kind of a hook in the air. Needed. We just do it twice. Needed. Okay? Someone. This is a sign for some. It's kind of like you have a, a piece of a cake or a cookie and you're going to cut it in half and there's some for you and some for me. Okay? Some. If you do some person, that is someone. Someone. Again, I'll do it sideways so you can see a little bit better. Someone. To wash my sins away. Again, two is a little word. Out it goes. Wash. I like your washing dishes. My. Pronouns in the, you know, possessive are just like pronouns in, you know, second person. My is an open palm. Be yours, his, hers, his, its. It's directional, just like other pronouns, but it's open palm. So my sins, all right, is two X hands, and they kind of start at your, at your chin and kind of circle a little bit coming out. Now, I don't know whether it'll make easier to see sideways or not, but I'll do it sideways. Sins. Sins. Okay? And the number of times you do that really doesn't matter. At least two, okay? Less than ten. All right. Wash my sins away. Just like I said, little words. We don't need little words. Off they go. Away. And if you're right-handed, your right hand is doing all the work here. Okay? And here comes the chorus. And it's kind of open palmed here, coming out to your fingers together here. And now. And I kind of do a little bit of flourish on that because it is a song. It, this is a sign for now. Okay? But I'm, I'm a little bit more excited about it than that. And now. Okay? See, it says the same thing, but it says it with a little more excitement. Now I sing. Sing. In sign language, music, if you can think about that for a second, there aren't very many signs for music in sign language. They don't hear music. They don't hear parts. They don't hear melodies. They don't hear harmonies. Uh, they don't hear bands and orchestras and know the difference. Okay, so there you have one sign for music. Anytime you want to sign something that has something to do with music, this is your sign. Okay? Sometimes we'll put a C on it for a chorus. Okay? But most of the time, pff, that's just it. That is singing. That is song. That is to play, a band, that's, that's everything, okay? So now I sing a brand new song, okay? Brand, what does that word mean? It means to take a cow and burn something onto its backside. I don't think that's what the song's talking about, okay? Brand new, okay, means that it is just not just new, it's just new, new, okay? It's an emphasis word. And so because it's an emphasis word, we're going to leave the word itself out and we're going to emphasize the word. Does that make sense what I'm saying there? Nod your head yes. Okay, I see you. Okay, so, and now I sing a brand new song, okay? I'm going to emphasize new. And new is like the right hand knuckles coming in and hitting this part of your hand in a kind of a sweeping motion. New. New. Got it? Song. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing is not amazing. This is not amazing. You see what I'm saying there? Amazing. Get those eyebrows involved in it. 
you can't be amazed without lifting your eyebrows. Okay? Amazing grace. And this is like your eyes widening open, like somebody threw frozen marbles in your bed in the morning. Amazing grace. Do a circle in the air, splat on the head, and that's grace. Okay? It's kind of like the light coming down and hitting Saul as he walked down the road to Damascus before he became Paul. Jesus, Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Christ. The letter C, okay, it's your right hand coming to the opposite shoulder, shoulder coming down to your hip. Christ. It's kind of like if you've ever seen like a Miss America pageant or something like that, they have a little stripe going across them saying, I'm Miss Arizona. Okay? It's banners like that. So if you put a C on it, it's Christ. If you put an L on it, it's Lord. If you put a K on it, it's King. A Q on it, it's a Queen. A P on it, it's a Prince or a Princess, depending on context. Okay? So all those titles kind of run across this way, in case you ever see one. Christ Jesus. This is an obvious sign. You probably already know it. Just take your center fingers and touch the palms of your hands. If you want to do it with your index fingers, that's okay too. I do it with the center fingers. Christ Jesus paid the debt. We already know paid. We already know debt that I could never pay. That, eh, leave that out. I, we already know that one, could never pay. Can, this is yes. Two yes hands is can or could, okay, could never pay. Never. It's just a palm just kind of snaking through the air there a little bit. Never pay. Say it all together in one phrase. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Okay? Next verse. He paid that debt on Calvary. Okay? We're already know we're going to leave out that. We're not going to put that in there. Okay? He, we know that one. Paid, we know that one. The debt, we know that one. At Calvary. All right? Leave out at. It's a little word. Calvary. So this whole thing's got one new word for you. Rocks going up with a cross. Okay? And what that really is, is it's a hill. If it were a mountain, it would be higher, okay? But it's a hill with a cross on top. That is Calvary. He cleansed my soul and set me free. He, know that, cleansed, we already cleaning like washing the dishes, cleansed my, we know that, soul. It's kind of this is one of those things that kind of sounds like so old. Looks like you're so in a little bit, all right? Cleanse my soul, right? And, we knew that one, set me free. Set. Hmm. We use English words in odd ways. Set. I can set the table. I can set down. I can set something down. None of those words seem to make sense in this context. So, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to make me free. Okay? Make. That's really what's trying to be said here. Make me free. Okay? Make. And it's just... I'm going to go sideways so you can see it maybe a little bit better. Make. Make me free. Alright? I repeated it a few times there to, and so you can see what the motion is, but it's really just make, just dink, dink. Make me free. It's the letter F's, crossing your hands, and then just kind of coming out. All right? Free. Okay? I'm glad that Jesus did all my sins erase. I am... Now we have here a contraction. In sign language, we decontract the contractions, okay? 
I'm, I am, and you just run it together there pretty quick. I'm glad, it's happy. All right, happy. Now, happy has to show on the face. You cannot be happy. Because if you're happy, this is the sign for throwing up. So you're either happy or you're throwing up. Throwing up makes the song just completely different. So make sure you have got a smile on your face and your eyes are showing that you're smiling and your eyebrows are up because it's more than just this, all right? Okay, I'm glad that Jesus, that, out with the word that, Jesus did all my sins erase. Jesus, we knew, we know, did all my sins erase. All right, I ran that all together. Let's look at them individually. You already know Jesus. Did, it's kind of like two hands going back and forth. It's time for did and do and does and doing and didding. Anything to do with doing, okay? Did all Put your hand up, kind of put a little roof on it to start with, and come around and land. All. And you really kind of twiddle both hands is what it turns out to be. This hand doesn't really stay still as you do this. They, all, they both operate. My, you already know that one. Sins, already know that one. Erase, it's wash away. Okay? Washing, we already know. In a way, we already know. Erase is the same thing. It's a combination of those two words. Again, we have a chorus, but be careful. The first line on the chorus on each one of these is a little bit different. I now can sing a brand new song. Okay? Before it was, and now. Now it is, I now can sing a brand new song. All right, you pretty much know all of those signs. Amazing Grace, you know that one. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. We know all that one. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. One day, all right, one. Numbers are easy, one. One day, and a day is just kind of following the sun across the sky. One day, uh, he's coming back for me. He is coming back for me. He is, it's kind of like the letter, like M, only it's the letter I, is coming. Okay, think of, think of that you have uh, wheels here, all right? If the wheels are rolling this way, you're going. If the wheels are rolling this way, you're coming. Okay? That's the sign for coming. That's the sign for going. Okay? One day he's coming back for me. One day he is coming back for me. Coming. Now, coming is directional. Just like me pointing. I am going to you. I'm going to the store. I'm going out the door. All right, all three different places. I'm going in those kind of ways. Okay, where is Jesus coming from? Jesus is coming from up there. So we're going to sign it coming from up there. Get it? Nod. Say yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Glad to hear that. Coming back. So he's coming back. It's B K with it. B K. B K. It's back. See how the hand is moving backwards? He's coming back for me. I'll live with him eternally. I'll remember we decontract contractions. I'll that's me will. And will is just an open palm kind of running past your ear. Okay, I'll live with him eternally, live, it's L's kind of coming up, with, 
that your two A hands come in together. Him eternally. Him eternally. All right. Circle in the air and then a Y hand going out. This means always and this means yet. So eternally is always yet. Okay. Um, I'll live with him eternally. Won't it be glory to see him on that day? Won't. That sounds like something negative. I won't do that. Hmm. That doesn't sound like what the author of this song wants us to say. I think he's saying, wow, truly, it's going to be wonderful when we see him on that day. Okay, so I'm not going to sign will not, which is what won't really is. I'm going to sign truly, because that's what he's trying to say. Wow, truly. If you want to, you can say, wow, wow. Okay, won't it be truly be glory to see him on that day. Okay, so we're slowing it down here a little bit. Won't it, it is a little word, I'm going to throw it out. Be glory. Be, we could throw it out if we wanted to, but we're going to put it in there. Okay, if you want to leave it out, leave it out, that's fine. Uh, sometimes the flow and the rhythm of the music means that those little words kind of fit. In this case, I think it does. Be glory. It's kind of shimmering. Okay? It's you after having 15 cups of coffee. Your, your hand is shaking. All right? Glory. Okay? To see him on that day. We're going to leave out the word to. See him. See. In sign language, your eyes aren't up here. You kind of borrow them. You kind of point at your eyes and go, dunk, and all of a sudden your eyes are now here. And which is really convenient because you can look up, you can look down, you can look over there, you can look over there, you can look on top of the refrigerator. Okay? So and I say that every time. If you've seen me do this, do that sign or explain that sign, I just kind of really enjoy explaining it that way. Okay, so point to the eye. That transfers your eyes to your fingertips. See him. We already know him. On that day. On. One hand on there. On top of the other. That day. Alright, we've dropped the word that like two or three times now. This time we're going to include it. That day. Because here, that really means that. Okay? It means that specific. And so that specific day is that day. It's a Y hand just kind of hitting in the palm that day. And we already know day. I then will sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. All right. The only new word in that whole thing is the word then. Start your thumb and go to your finger, into your finger, and that's then. Kind of, ooh, like jump off of here and land there. All right, then. Okay, that is the vocabulary. I encourage you to practice with this. Go through it back and forth if you need to. Um, you know, click me back, click me forward until you get the signs where you understand them and feel comfortable with them. Again, practice it in phrases. All right. Because when we get to the next thing where I sing the song slowly, we need to be, you need to already have the feeling of doing this in phrases. If you try to get to the song and you do words, you're going to have some trouble. Okay? I'm very much looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.